Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Blacktown TV's Look Who's Next. Of course, you guys know I'm your hostess with the most, Mrs. Simone Jackson. Always here to bring you guys another great episode of Look Who's Next. And for those of you guys who don't know, Look Who's Next is a great podcast where we have engaging conversation with entertainment people in the, with, with entertainment people in the, um, we have in, influential conversations with people in the entertainment industry. So I'm really excited for our next guest. She is, um, she, she is a young star, but she has got a really brilliant resume. She's a bright young star. Um, she's going to be a trailblazer as, as she continues to go, grow. So I'm really excited. She, she's an actress. She's a model. Um, she came to prominence when she started in a film called Reclaim. It stars some of our favorites, John Cusack, Ryan Phillips, um, just to name a few. She's also gonna. She's also starred in um, Disney's Travels Raven's Home with our favorite Raven Simone. But now she's here talking to us here at Black Town TV. So we are really excited. So everyone, give a big warm welcome to Miss Brianna Roy. Hi, Brianna. Hey, everyone. How are you? Great. How are you? We are doing good here at Black Town TV. We are super excited to have you on here. Like I said earlier, you're just a young trailblazer, so we are definitely excited to have you on here with us. Oh, thank you. Super excited to talk with you. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and jump into the straight into the first question for you. You know, Brianna, can you tell us what began your passion for acting? Um, well, I really started at the age of six doing print ads and TV commercials, and then I blossomed and grew more of a love for theatrical work, and that's when I booked my first movie, Reclaim, with John Cusack, Ryan Felipe. I played the lead role, the role of Nina, and that was a really big step for me into growing my career, and I just really enjoyed it and, you know, wanted to do more and more. Uh, and yeah, first of all, the fact that you started a movie with Ryan Phillip, for one, he he is definitely one of my crushes. I would have just passed out immediately. I would just looked at him, passed out, and now there would have been no filming, no nothing. I just wouldn't be able to speak. He is just, wow. Were you yeah, able to he, maintain your cool? Yeah, he's super cool on set. He was like a second dad. He was my on-screen dad and like a second dad. And um, we stayed in touch. And he's he's really sweet. Yeah, that's so awesome to know. That just made my crush even bigger, but that's so awesome to know. <laughs> I'm hoping he was so like that. Um, you know, uh, you know, you in, in your movie Reclaim, can you just go a little bit further? Can you tell us what was your character, just for those who didn't see the film? Well, my character, Nina, she's just this really innocent girl who came from Haiti, who was adopted by Ryan Philippe and Rochelle Lefebvre, Stephen and Shannon, from the earthquake that happened in Haiti. So this adoption agency came and took her from Haiti and they put her up for adoption. That's when a bunch of different things happened. And that's when John Cusack, the bad guy came in and it, there's just a lot of crazy stuff going on. Sounds like it. Sounds like it. You know, it must've been really just beyond a great acting lesson to work with, you know, legends like Ryan Phillip, John Cusack. I mean, I'm pretty sure you learned a lot. Yes, yes. Even though people see um, them as legends, movie legends, there are really cool people. Jack um, Jackie Weaver, two-time Oscar nominee. She was so sweet. They're all really, um, really cool and sweethearts, and we just love them. Yeah, they're awesome. Oh, that is so good to know. I've been a huge fan of them for a while, so it's good to know that they're down-to-earth people, and, and, and it's good to know that, you know, they're really nice and that you were able to learn a lot, you know? So we, you know, since you were able to learn a lot as an actress, what would you say, what type of roles do you gravitate to? Roles I gravitate to? Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's so many different roles out there that can suit different people and their personalities and their acting styles. But, you know, I love comedies and um, I think they're really cool and really fun to do. Drama, it's really out there. Action movies, I, I love them all. And they all seem awesome to be in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely comedy is one of my favorites. So I definitely, definitely would hope to love to see you in a comedy. I think that would be great. You definitely have the personality that shines. So definitely comedy should be on your in, in, in your future, definitely soon. I definitely agree to that. Um, but, Brianna, you know, in, in this industry, like, there's so many people to look up to. There's so many people who have been doing this for a while. But who do you look up to in, in acting wise oh there's so many great actors out there but you know i love tyler perry he's an Yay. amazing actor you know um i love him 
Yes, yes. Viola Davis, she's so awesome. She she's a really great actress. She could give so many emotions through her eyes, mm -hmm. and there, it's just amazing what she can do. Oh, there's so many. Uh, let me keep on thinking of some. <laughs> yeah, definitely. No problem. I mean, yes, there's so many. Like I said, Tyler Perry, Viola Davis. I just, oh yeah, I am just obsessed with Viola Davis. Yeah, Everything Tyler she's Perry, you're watching. Hey, Tyler Perry. Yes, Tyler Perry. We know someone who will make a great fit for one of your shows or movies. Just yes. saying. <laughs> just saying. Um, so, you know, what future projects are you involved with that you can give a little dish to Blacktown TV about? Actually, I, I'm in a web series that's going to be coming up this fall. Um, it's going to be so awesome. I can't wait for it. I play the role of Kendra. And what the web series is really about, it's all about girl empowerment and um, embracing diversity and different cultures and so many different types of things that's going on for teens and tweens. And it just talks about the main facts and bullying and other stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be really amazing. Oh, I definitely can't wait. Definitely keep our eye out for that. Um, you know, um, because like I said, I'm pretty sure there's tons and tons and tons of more future projects coming your way. Where can the Black Town, Black Town TV go and make sure they can follow you and your work? Do you are social media? Do you have a website? Yes, you can follow me on my Instagram at Brianna Roy, my Twitter, Real Brianna Roy, and my Facebook like page, Brianna Roy. Yes. Oh, and also I'm on a cool app called Funimate. Um, my handle is Brianna Roy, and I just make some really cool videos out there for my peeps. Yes. Ah, Black Talent TV audience, I encourage you and insist that you follow her on all social media and keep up with her because this this young woman is going to be everywhere. So you definitely want to keep out for her for and, and all the projects she's going to be definitely involved with. Um, you know, um, but Miss Brianna, as an actress, if you had any chance to work with any director, I know Tyler Perry's one, but anybody else. Who would you love to work with? Ooh, oh, that's a great question. Um, there's so many. Like, oh, Steven Spielberg. Yes. Um, yes, he's a big director. Yes. I was hoping you would say that. I was hoping you would say that. Yes, iconic movies, The Color Purple. It's just awesome. You know, love that. Would love to work with him. Um, Kenny Ortega. Mm -hmm. He's like a great director to work with. Like, really fun, funny, and like, really great at pointing things out and you know i would just like to work with them all work with them all they just seem doing more and more like come over here yeah <laughs> she's like i'm ready pick me i am here and just ready to trailblaze i love it i love it anybody listening kenny tyler uh steven we've got an, a super gifted young actress who, who is ready to to star in one of your movies and just become the next, next big thing. So we're just saying, if you're listening, we got one for you, <laughs> for sure. Mm -hmm. So Brianna, I'm just curious to know, you know, what goals do you hope to reach with your acting career and just career in general? Oh, acting goals, you know, me and my sister, we're looking to go, um, go towards so many other things, blossoming out and doing some other stuff going into our modeling we just came from new york fashion week you can see me at la fashion week um we're going towards paris you know we're just shooting for the stars and our main goals and what we want to grow out into um we're looking to have our own tv show and <laughs> as sisters together um even a clothing line because we're fashionistas and we love everything about fashion so yeah that would be fun that is cool. That ah, oh, that is so awesome that you went to LA Fashion Week and New York Fashion Week. How was that? Oh, New York Fashion Week was so awesome. You know, since they see the two afros, all the pe like all the paparazzi, the photographers, they kept taking pictures of us because they love the afros, love what we were wearing. It, yeah, it was so much fun. Oh yes, I love the fact that you guys rock the natural afro. I I, I admire you guys for it. I can't do it anymore because whew, that is too poofy on my hair. But I. Is so love the fact that you guys do it and you guys look amazing just rocking it that that is definitely what caught my eye with, with, with you and your sisters like oh my gosh they're rocking the natural afros they are my queens i'm so happy yes, <laughs> my afro is our signature we love to use our afro everywhere we go whenever we book something we always tell them can they please keep the afro because that's what we really want to 
put out there and we like to let other young girls know that it's okay to rock your natural fro your curls whatever because the afro it just brings out you and mm -hmm. yeah your signature so that's what we're always rocking on red carpets we're proud afro carriers on the runway on set for tv movies that that's our afros Ah, oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. And I think it's perfect. I, I think it's perfect that you insist you guys keep on the Afro. Yay. I really do love that. I do. You know, uh, speaking of modeling, you know, you were saying how you were at LA Fashion Week and New York Fashion Week. I'm curious to know, what's your favorite brand to model for? Oh, my favorite brand? I actually did an international print ad for Nike with the <gasps> Yay! Kid. Um, yeah, it was really fun to do. Um, we loved it. They made me keep my natural hair, the afro. Yeah. And yeah, it was a really fun shoot. Oh, that sounds great. I love Nike. I love Nike. I'm definitely gonna make sure I check it out and you know, see everything because it sounds like this it was a great photo shoot. But Miss Brianna, oh my gosh, you have been such a pleasure to have on here. I cannot wait to see what else is coming in your future, you know, the fashion more acting, modeling, um, just, I, I just, like I said, you are becoming such a young trailblazer, so I really appreciate you coming in and talking with us. Oh, thank you for having me. Absolutely. I, I, I really do encourage Black Town TV audience and family to make sure you guys check her out on all of her social medias. Make sure you guys follow her up on, on, on all the projects she is doing. Keep an eye on her because there's going to be tons and tons more things coming her way. And, you know, we definitely want to say, hey, we heard her on Black Talent TV. So make sure you guys definitely check on her and, and make sure you guys follow up on her. So I just want to thank Miss Brianna again for joining in on us. She's been such a joy to have. And um, like I said, I just cannot wait to see what else comes her way and what else she's going to accomplish as she continues on with her career. And I just cannot wait to see what else is going to come up for you. So, but, uh, but we do appreciate you, you know, talking with me. And I really do appreciate the Black Talent TV audience listening in. Again, make sure you guys follow her on her social media. This is Miss Brianna Roy. You heard her here. So make sure you guys definitely follow her, follow her on social media. But, you know, you guys, I am Simone Jackson, your hostess with the mostest. I'm really glad you guys were able to listen to another great, great episode of Look Who's Next. Of course, if you guys ever want to, you know, interview with me or, you know, advertise with us, make sure you guys hit us up at info at blacktondv.com. We're always, always happy to listen, always happy to uh, hear from you guys for whatever. So make sure you guys definitely do that. But... Again, I want to thank our special guest, Ms. Brianna Roy. I want to thank everyone for listening in. But until another great episode of Look Who's Next, you guys. You guys have a wonderful day. I'm Simone Jackson, and I'm out. Yes. Goodbye, guys. Thank you, everyone who is listening in. And look out for the new episode of Raven's Home, where I wear my afro in weirder things. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Make sure you guys can check out the afro, the naturalness. I love it. So she cannot be missed with the naturalness. So everyone, make sure you guys check out Raven's Home. Check out Brianna Roy's episode and everything else. So we are super excited. So thank you, Miss Brianna. Thank you, everybody. Everyone have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.